guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So summer is just around the corner, so I thought I'd better get my ass into gear, get my summer clothes out and see what fits me, what doesn't, what's out of fashion this year and what I need to go on a shopping spree for. Some of this stuff I haven't even worn yet, so and I'll be keeping that but I'm really bad at deciding for myself so you guys might have to help me a little bit. So please do leave comments and help me decide on things. So yeah, this video is just going to be about trying my summer stuff on, seeing what the vibes are, because I spent all year waiting for summer and I want to be prepared this year. I am wearing a cap with a dressing gown at the minute because I trimmed my own fringe earlier and then tried to start my hair and I've done something wrong and it hasn't worked out well. So first item, these white distressed denim shorts. These are my favourite summer shorts. I like to wear them with this grey top, which is not a bowler neck top, but it's the essence of a bowler neck, I would say, because the neck band is really thick, and it goes up the neck like the tiniest bit. This top is on the shorter side for me, because I'm a long-bodied guy, and it's hard to find tops that fit well, but I just took it in, and that solves the problem, and I feel like it looks a little bit better tucked in anywhere with these shorts. I feel like these shorts go with just about anything, but I tried to avoid black tops with the white shorts and white tops with the white shorts because I feel like the all white look makes me personally look like I'm trying too hard and I feel like the black top with the white shorts is too much of a contrast between the two colours, so I tried to avoid them but I do still sometimes fuck with the black top. So I like to tie it all together with a little brown bag to match the belt. And as for shoes, I would normally wear my white Alexander McQueen trainers. So that's one outfit that I'm definitely going to be keeping. Next up we have these white chino shorts. They are really thin material, which I don't like because you can see the different layers of material in there. Like the front pockets and the back pockets and even down the seams. And even if I'm wearing white underwear, it doesn't make them look any better in any light. And I don't think I've ever even wore these. Next we have yet another pair of white shorts and these are somewhere between chino and denim material. They're like a, a canvas sort of material but the reason I like these is because they are tight and you would think that that would give me a muffin top but these don't, they sort of hide my muffin top. I wore them for a festival I was working at where I was topless and yeah, they hit my muffin top pretty well, so I'm gonna be keeping these. Next, this is not another pair of white shorts, they're actually cream. I even got the white shorts to put next to them to show that they're cream because they look sort of white in this light then. 
these are fitted but not tight they're a little bit baggy and I like the pen on with this green top with just a random tennis club on the back I like the like washed out muted military green with the cream I feel like it does something for me and this look overall I feel like it says I'm preppy my dad owns like a law firm and I'm drinking punk IPA down by the river while playing Pazzy with the ball And I feel like it says I do dad dancing after a few bottles of punk IPA down by the river while playing Pazzy with the ball but I am actually young, I'm just, I've had a sheltered life. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this. Now, I found these neck shorts in Primark and I've seen them on other people and they are a knockoff of a designer I'm not sure which designer it is, maybe Kenzo but I got them, I've never been in love with the way they fit because they start off tight when they've just been freshly washed and then throughout the day they go really baggy and wrinkly at the front but I would normally wear them with designer top if I do decide to wear them, which is only when all the rest of my summer stuff is like being washed or whatever it didn't really work with the dummy jeans top so just tried them on with the right player top which is i'm not sure if it is a, a, like a good designer or whatever i just got it from dk max but yeah you know the vibe i'm just gonna be trying on some swim shorts these are just black baggy ones i would normally go for more fitted swim shorts but it's not really the best material to wear, to fit, you know, for them to be fitted. So these are just a refreshing change. So I'm going to be keeping these. I've never wore these out anywhere. I'm not quite sure if they say I am 30 or if they're a cool, like, cute print. So let me know what you think about them. But I feel like they go really well with them. just a black t shirt and maybe sliders so I think I will keep these next pair of swim shorts such a shame because they are way too tight like they feel like they are going to damage me downstairs um, but I like the print it reminds me of those like chalky sweets I used to get but they don't fit so get rid of those these are from next I saw them I think they were actually on the sale rail and I thought they are so nice but I've never worn them because I can't find anything to wear them with they don't go with black they don't go with brown they don't go with grey like I've just never been able to find anything to go with them they definitely don't go with white so if you guys have any suggestions let me know but I think the only thing that I would be able to find to go with them is if I took them out shop and I found a t-shirt that matches the like orangey coloured stripe because it's like cream stripes and orangey stripes even the cream top doesn't really go so that's a shame but I'm going to get rid of them now this purple leopard print top I've had this for a couple of years now and I do still like it so I'm going to keep it I would normally wear it with some sort of swim short these are just some boo man wet look like silky vibe swim shorts with one pocket on the side these are a little bit small on me now they do feel like they're going to damage my downstairs parts so i'm gonna have to get rid of those there's another pair of black swim shorts that i might wear with this shirt this is more of a matte sort of like a suede material but these are very much too small and damaging I was trying to squat down in them there see what they would be like if I was sitting down and they would be like popping my bum in hell because they were too tight next these are also a man and I'm so glad that these fit 
so I do have a pair of black swim shorts they've got this sort of like pinstripe what you call it plate down the front and they are like a silky wet look vibe I would like them to be the, a tiny bit bigger but I'm gonna keep them until I get another pair that fit me really well so that's another item for the shopping list this black top with this like print on it has absolutely shrunk I don't know how that happened because I remember it fitting me I remember I wore it just to go out somewhere for like an hour or so and then put it back in the wardrobe last summer and it did fit me I definitely haven't grown in height that much oh by the way if your shorts have got those annoying mesh pants inside you can totally just cut them out because I do with all of mine I doubt that I'm going to feel comfortable going out anywhere in this shirt now since it's so tight but I'm just trying to See if I can make it work with these black shorts. These are the black version of the white canvas ones that I tried on to hide my love handles. Tucked in didn't look good and tucked out looks way too short. So I think the shirt's gonna have to go, but the shorts can stay. I definitely need to see if I can find this top in a bigger size this summer because it's one of my staple pieces I feel like it goes with any colour shorts so I'll not be happy if I can't find it this shirt's a weird one because down on paper it's a black and white shirt and it's like thin material so it's perfect for summer and the pattern is nice but as a shirt I just don't really like the way it looks overall I don't know what it is about it, whether it's the way it fits, if it's the, the pattern. But yeah, I've wore it on a couple of different occasions. But it's been like a last resort thing to wear. So I think that it's going to have to go. Because even just trying to work out what I don't like about it is really getting me down and aging my skin. So goodbye to this shirt. I might put it on Depop. This is a shirt that I got for like three quid from Primark at the end of summer and it reminds me of the seats on the bus or on a coach or even like a bingo hall lady who serves tea but I love it, I think it's a little bit preppy, a little bit artsy and I wore it with black shorts to go and sit in a field in a student area and have a barbecue and get drunk so I'm going to keep it just because it's got memories attached to it and they actually like it so I'll be rocking this this summer catch me in a field I feel like it only really goes with black shorts though because it's like off-white colour so it doesn't go with white and it doesn't go with safari shorts because the colours just clash it's too much to look at it's hurting my eyes like that so black shorts it is I found these sweatpants that used to be my faves um, I lost them for a while and I found them again and it's such a goddamn shame that they've shrunk or have grown and they're too short for me now this top is actually part of a two piece set but I feel like it goes so much better with other things than it does the shorts that came with it I don't know if it goes really well with other pattern things such as the bag but it definitely doesn't go with the shorts I feel like it's just too much pattern in your face and it doesn't help that the shorts are an awful fit they're like the same material as the t-shirt which is a little bit stretchy a little bit like airy and baggy I feel like it would be okay if the shorts weren't tight I even tried them on in a bigger size when I first got them and they just didn't look good so if it was a swim short material short maybe they'd be fine and I don't feel like the shorts go with anything other than the top so I'm going to be getting rid of those last time I wore these to go and visit my family my granddad asked me if I was struggling for money because he thought these were a pair of jeans that had ripped the legs off um, but I like them so I'm going to keep them these are my favourite pink swim shorts I did cut the panties out of these and they are a little tiny bit snug but nothing I can't deal with and I can sit down in them just fine so yeah I'm gonna keep these moving swiftly onwards my bra shorts these have got the lions on there no they're not the tigers I was gonna 
Italy or the Lion shorts. I've never worn these either, but I feel like these, just like the other ones with the print on there, are cute and go with a nice black top and some sort of cute bag. Like, obviously, swim shorts look good on their own. They're good for going swimming with no top on, but this is 2022. People wear swim shorts as an outfit, you know, you know, just for swimming. These are a little snug, but I'm going to keep them for occasions when I won't be sitting down, like just go to the shop or whatever. Blue version of my favourite pink swim shorts. These just fit exactly the same, and they have the same vibe, but blue. So, I'm going to be keeping these too. Lifeguard vibes now with these yellow swim shorts. I don't mind them. I'm not in love with them. I only really wear them when I wear this one particular t-shirt. I don't know why I didn't put it on for the video, but it's got like a print on the front and it's got a tiny bit of yellow in it, so it just makes the print sort of pop. So I am going to keep these. Next up, pink champion shorts. These are a little bit too pink. They make the boys wink, you know, they're a bit in your face dive bombing off the hotel balcony into the pool but yeah i still like them so i'm gonna keep them these shorts obviously are injuring me as we speak i can't breathe but i can't move my legs properly i can't even feel my legs in fact because they're so tight but they are part of this two piece set which i love and i bought for a holiday and i've never wore it since that holiday so I'm just keeping it for that reason because it's got memories attached to it so it's a shame that it doesn't fit anymore I think it's a combination of I have grown and it's shrunk a little bit because I haven't grown that much this was like baggy at one point this used to be a pair of jeans that I turned into shorts and they're honestly about seven years old I used to buy all new jeans in the start of the colder seasons and then when it was coming up to summer I would cut them all into shorts and then when it was coming to the colder seasons again I would buy all new jeans and it was just a cycle every year and these are a little bit tight but I feel like after a few wears they'll be fine so they're not ideal but I'm gonna keep them until I get another nice pair of grey shorts so grey shorts are on the shopping list these next shorts used to be another one of my ex-boyfriends um, and he just left them behind we're still friends now um, and I asked him if he wanted them back and he was like no they're not really my vibe and I was like okay they're not really my vibe either there's more hole here than denim but they were just stuck in my wardrobe so I thought I would cut the scraggly bits off so they don't look so like shark damaged and uh, see if they looked any better. verdict is I feel like if I was wearing these to go for a drink something might pop out of the top hole without me realizing so blue swim shorts honestly they fit okay and there's nothing really wrong with them but they just really offend me at how boring they are so I'm gonna get rid next up these denim shorts these are from Primark and I love these but they are such a weird fit I have to pull them all the way up for them to like look okay and then put my top over them but the material is so nice like I feel like it just hugs my legs and my booty and they stay in place throughout the day like you know those types of denim jeans or shorts that just try their best to like emigrate down to your ankles throughout the day when you're moving around these don't do that they just like stay where you put them so I will be keeping these they've also got two little pockets for snacks next up safari 
shots. I like to wear them with this top because it's got brown and the safari shot color right in, in the print. I've never actually even read what this is before and I've had it since last summer and I'm still not going to read it now. <laughs> I didn't actually buy it to read, I just bought it to look at the pictures. This is the last outfit that I'm going to be trying on in this video. I've got a lot of things to get before the summer, so if you guys want a little shopping haul of what I get, let me know in the comments down below. But I hope you enjoyed this video guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for next week's episode, which is shoes. I love you guys, see you in the next video.